Well, it's time for war. He beat me to it by two turns. I can't get to where I wanted to settle. So my options are I could sneak all the way over here. It's good spots up there to settle nice and early. Or I can go back here to consolidate. So I think I am going to move this guy back to prepare to settle. And otherwise, it's pretty much wartime because I cannot let that aggression here stand. I've got to get into a war posture pretty quick. Here's the water mill. Spearman, spearman. And when can I start making catapults? As soon as I can make catapults, I'm going to make a few. Uh, and then basically go immediately to war against Persepolis. That's what's going to happen. Uh, if I'm going to war, I should probably build a road to connect these cities as well. So I can more easily move guys direct to the front. So the way this war is going to go down... Uh, let's see. How will I do this? I didn't expect to have to go to war immediately. I kind of wanted him to just surround it here. So I'm going to get my settler all the way back over here. If he settles here, I don't think he'll have much going on. I'm going to ignore Sousa. And I'll pretty much just send catapults and everything straight up here. Just attack Persepolis directly. Yeah, not too worried. In fact, not too worried at all. All right, we're at war. I wonder if I can just take it out. I wonder if I can... So, the defense is only 17. And check this out. There's no walls there. It's basically undefended. Look at all these workers I got back here. I don't see any avenue of trouble. Let's get my settler back to safety. Since I wasn't able to settle where I wanted to, I got I'm gonna raise Sousa, but not immediately. Is that a good spot? No, that's not a good spot. That's that's a terrible spot. I'm gonna raise Sousa and build the city where I wanted to build it here. Alright, so he's protecting that worker. So do I attack the city or do I just flee? Well, first let's get the worker I stole out of there. That guy can't move in and attack in the same round. Uh, I kind of wish I'd start. I'd waited like one turn to start the war. Guess I should build, like, finish the spear, man. I should keep building military units. There's not much else useful to build in this city in the immediate term. And even though they produce slowly, it's good to have a pipeline of units coming up. Strength seven. Pathfinder's strength eight. I could probably use another Pathfinder just to explore. Yeah, I don't think I need to worry too much about walls. Let's do it. Meanwhile, the rest of these guys are just going to finish this road as fast as possible. Hmm. Yeah, I can seriously threaten that city. I think that might be his only military unit. He might have one up exploring over here, but I don't think there's much else. I don't think there's much else. Do I retreat momentarily and then come back in, or do I attack now? Let's see, I can do a little bit of damage. And that little bit of damage, I could probably take the city. But I'd rather these guys come in so I can attack all at once. I'm going to temporarily retreat. I could do one damage on my way out. Oh no, I can't because of those hills. Let's retreat and fully heal. It bodes well for the war, and it does not bode well for Persia. I can probably take the city out with just these units. I think it's I think this is feasible. Just get my guys all in here. Yeah, look, I do reasonable damage to the city. He doesn't really have any units to attack me except the city itself. I can whittle it down with this bowman, or this composite bowman. 
You just hang out here and heal. I think it's looking pretty good. Heard of those barbarians. Oh yeah, and I connected these cities too. That was something I was working on. I gotta figure out what to do with the settler in the interim if the war does not... Because uh... I want... The problem is... I wanted to settle here, and everything would have been fine. But because I have to deal with this too, then I still can't use the settler over here until I raise Sousa to the ground. Because I don't want Sousa. If I'm going to capture it and burn it. Because I really want to build that city here. This wouldn't be the worst spot. No, it's uh, it's just so suboptimal. Yeah, Sousa's going away. But that means I'm not going to have any use for the settler in a while, because nothing else is going to get settled over here. So i got to send the settler up here. So I should actually send him over toward where the spearman's going to come out, and the spearman can escort him up to settle, and then come across to fight the war. <laughs> Meanwhile, these guys should continue to build out my awesome cities. I should stick relatively close to the interior of my territory, at least for now. Because I don't want to risk losing any of these workers. I mean, I can get them back pretty easily, but there's no reason to deal with that kind of problem if I don't have to. This city's growing pretty quick, too. Yeah, I've got work tiles that... Well, I've got uh, developed tiles that aren't even being fully utilized yet. Are you focusing on growth? Is that why? Yep, let it grow, because these will not let the city grow. So let's just grow it up. It's looking pretty good. I'm feeling this. 